a drum beat, a heart beat. That's where it starts. That's where it all starts. Tonight we are gathered because of our good friend, Makanda, who um, a bright shine and light in our neighborhood. And um, tonight we are gathering love and funds and um, heart and prayers for a girl who got uh, paused in her path and got sick. She uh, spent the last year undiagnosed and not getting better. Just this, this uh, week or so ago, she went to the Mayo Center and uh, with her mama, Lori, to go get the bottom line answers to the questions. She got those answers. And tonight I want to, uh, to let, her, um, let her know that we're here and find out from her what's going on and a little bit about this thing that no doctor in our state could figure out. Um, the medical system, don't get us started. But <laughs> it's like she went to the one hospital that all hospitals are supposed to be like, the Mayo uh, Center. So shall we Skype and, and we'll try this out and see if the technology of our land, if we have internet in this town again, do we? Uh-huh. Right, we got internet, uh-huh. We are on the grid. Mm -hmm. We Skype all the time at home, so this is really easy. This is. <laughs> How is it going? Mm -hmm. Bet. Oh, that's the sound, isn't it? Makanda, hey. Hi, sweetheart. Yay. Hi. What's up? It's good to see you, sister. It's good to see you, Lori. And um, welcome to Soul Food tonight. Can you hear us? We're going to try this. Can you hear us over here? <laughs> so, we'll all talk like this, okay? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Makanda, there's a leg over here on the slow internet connection. So, when we say something to you, I know. <laughs> so, first of all, how are, okay. you, how are you doing tonight? How are you feeling? How's your mama doing? Uh, we're good. We're happy. We had a great day, other than the new tube. Um, but it, I got knocked out to get put in. Hey. So it was a good day. It was a good day. Because uh, <laughs> there's been times before where they have had to put that tube in without you uh, under. You've, ha you've gone through so many different things. Yes, on my birthday. On your birthday. Yeah. I, and that was the first <laughs> Friday of last month, and we sang happy birthday to Makanda from our concert, filmed it on my iPhone, you and did. then sent it to you. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. So from one hospital to another, uh, a month later, mm -hmm. but this one is definitely the place to be. They found my answer um, that I've been looking for, and they're treating me, and we're moving on and fixing um, my back as well, which would, was the original problem. So um, I'm very excited for the future. Um, and I'm going to be spending a little more time here, but we're okay with that. We like them. And we like what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. You, how long did, did it take for you guys to get a diagnosis there? Um, six business days. And they say they can do it in five to seven business days minimum. Wow. So they're right on. Oh, my gosh. And so for a year, you have um, suffered from this uh, illness that nobody over here has been able to diagnose. And can you tell us a little bit about, about that? Just a little history of, of where you've come from I, over this last year. Yes. Um, so a long time ago, 2011, I had a few back surgeries. Um, and after I started law school, I noticed nerve pain in my left leg again. Um, so that led us from surgeon to surgeon trying to figure out what to do about my back. 
Uh, meanwhile, I had a big cyst on my ovary that was making my back pain worse. And then all of a sudden, starting December 10th, I vomited every day. Um, and it's like a hangover every day um, that is not, you can't get rid of, except for I didn't have a headache most of the time. So that was like the saving grace was the lack of headache. Um, and when I wasn't vomiting, I was nauseous. Um, and it was a, it was a rough time, uh, for all of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, oh, I wrote notes so that I wouldn't say, um, so many times, but <laughs> <laughs> we found out that my back surgical again and, uh, they had to, they told me they can't operate while I'm vomiting because that will just ruin the surgery. Um, so the back surgery has been on hold and I've been getting epidurals to, uh, control the pain. And we now know that with a feeding tube, I do not vomit. So, Yay. um, they got a diagnosis, um, of visceral hypersensitivity. And it basically means that the nerves in my GI tract, um, they react negatively to any stimulus not just stimulus or not just negative stimulus. So air or food, wow. um, anything they reacted and I would vomit and I just had a constant state of nausea. Um, and we found a few articles that pretty much explained the exact progression of this last year of my life. So I'm very comfortable with the diagnosis. I wasn't when I left the doctor's office. Uh, and then we went home and researched, and I'm very comfortable with what they came up with, uh, reading other people's notes and some a doctor transcript. Um, and we love the doctors here, the people here. Not only is everything super fast, the doctors might take notes, but um, some of them don't, and they're just geniuses. They, uh, we can, they have an app. They have a really cool app, so about... Five hours after my appointment this morning, I had the doctor's notes um, on what he said um, and what the appointment was like. And the doctors remember everything I say. They have never looked at me with judgment like I've had some Seattle doctors, including one doctor that put me, told me to put my clothes on and told me I was lying wow. and told my parents I was lying. Um, and that was back in January. So I had only been vomiting for a month. And... Um, so here there's been no judgment. There's been no second guessing. Um, everybody is just trying to get me to the next step, including the nurses. Um, the first receptionist I ever encountered remembers us every time we go back. Um, so that's very comforting. They all look alike. <laughs> everybody, everybody's Norwegian here. <laughs> uh, Uh, um, the doctors are the ones that look different. It's the nurses and the uh, and the receptionists that are all locals. Um, but this morning I got into the spine clinic six days early because when you have an appointment that's further out than you like, they have a system called checking, and you sit in the waiting room and you hope to be called if someone else doesn't show up for their appointment or a doctor has mm -hmm. some extra time. They call you and let you go in. So I had an appointment scheduled for November 20th that we got done last week just from perseverance and spending all day in a waiting room. And wow. this morning, after five days of trying, I got a, a spine appointment, which was scheduled for next Thursday. Um, and we had decided to stay an extra week and that it was worth it because these are the best doctors in the world. And this isn't just a week of my time. It's my whole life ahead of me. Yeah. Um, and... We're lucky we got in this morning. We have an appointment Monday morning, 8 o'clock, with a surgeon. Uh, things could progress very quickly now since the feeding tube is in, the vomiting is not an issue. Yeah, this is the um, longest I've talked to you And with a little bit of med in a long the time. nausea should go away yeah. relatively quickly. That's wonderful, Makanda. Did you ask a question? Oh, uh, I did. You know, I just... <laughs> That's so incredible. The fact that you guys are moving <laughs> in such a fast pace is incredible. And one of the reasons I understand that you guys are able to do that is that you are at the hotel right there, right off campus, 
where you can your mom can wheel you there day or night early in the morning any time to to get to the doctors to to up that schedule that you're ready yes. and you're proactively uh, wanting to get better that's the uh, really okay so we can see the Mayo Clinic behind you is that what we're seeing oh yeah Okay, so cute. That is the walkway between. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's the Mayo Clinic, and our hotel has a subway level, and I thought there'd be trains for some reason that that <laughs> came up, but um, it's just a walk uh -huh. <laughs> because it snows here a lot, and and it's supposed to snow tonight. Um, wow. so I got this Mayo fleece, <laughs> which uh, I'm very excited about prepared for snow um but there are underground walkways between the closest hotels and the and the clinic buildings so when i when i wasn't feeling very well mom would wheel wheel me um from the hotel to the clinic and there's wheelchairs everywhere so the second i start to feel um exhausted we can just pick up a chair and it's it's no big deal um wow it's it's just amazing here. It's like nothing we've ever experienced. Boy and uh, Lori, <laughs> I gotta say, as Mama go, I understand that you are gonna get Mother of the Year awarded to you this year. <laughs> <laughs> she should. You're just such a hero to all of us parents. That that uh, not only have you stayed by your daughter's side through the the trenches, but you've all you've also advocated for her with every single doctor and tech and kept incredible notes, a notebook, to make sure that all the information that you've been gathering over this last year that you keep, and then you've, you've uh, allowed all of us, uh, the people who love you, to be able to read your blog, the derailed blog that you uh, have put out on the every step of the way to see what was going on. And how a com and how a community would come together to try to answer questions and and give love and support. So how are you doing, Mama? How's things going for you? Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. It's quite a bit of fun for me to um, spend a lot of time with my dog. Come back, come back. Does she and so that? right now, this is just an awesome. Okay. Well, y um, one of the reasons why we are gathered here tonight is to help raise some funds for the hotel that you guys are staying at, that you're in right now. That um, what we wanted to do was be able to support financially the uh, as many nights in the hotel room that you guys have there, and knowing that. You guys are at the hotel, the only hotel in town that you are that close, that you can be there that early in the morning and be wheeled back and forth. And um, through health insurance, you guys have been able to cover medical bills, but to be able to help, have your community help you with a warm place to stay um, on, on your nights. That's why we have gathered here tonight, to send you guys love and to raise some funds for you all. We appreciate it so much, and it's not only the funds; it's the, it's the comments, it's the likes, it's the people reading our blog, it's, oh, it's everything. It's the text messages. It's all the support I get every day, from just the little things. And Stephen has been sending me photos of people who are there, and I appreciate all of you. Yeah, right. Thank okay, you so very let's introduce Stephen McCandice Papa here, Stephen Kraus. A night among Did men. Miss you? Yeah. Oh. You haven't seen your ladies for so long now. Oh, now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a family that is here that backs you and loves you, and that you were not in this alone at any point in time, and you're not alone in it now. And we're so proud that you've got a diagnosis, and that you guys are there, and you guys <laughs> are um, seeing it through and following the plan to move forward. We, we love you so much. Do you have any... Um, we love you. Do you have anything you want to say from your heart, Makanda, or anything about this experience? Or um, I just... I have a just a big thank you to everybody. Um, 
everybody who's there, everybody who has watched the, the fundraising video, especially the people who put it together. Thank you, Sarah and Kelsey. Um, and gosh, just the people who come to my house and don't want anything from me but to spend some time uh, to my mom for sleeping in my bed every night, to my stepdad for letting her. Uh, to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to um, oh, just everybody. I feel loved every day. I've never thought about giving up because I have so much to, there'd be so much to lose. Um, so it's everybody else's fault that I'm, I'm okay. And I passed my psych, my psychiatric appointment. <laughs> so it's everybody else's fault that I'm not depressed. As per Mayo, this shit's for real. <laughs> for all of those people watching <laughs> online, that we have the um, GoFundMe uh, site up and video and Macanda to Mayo. It's all over online. So people that are watching in from college towns and across the country, parents and family and friends, spread this word. And this story of you never giving up hope, Macanda, and Lori, and, and, um, and knowing that you are going to get back to law school and then we'll all need a lawyer at some point in time. You know me. I want to talk to you about that later anyways. Uh, <laughs> can we all say we love you, Macanda? Yeah, I got you. We love you, Makanda. Yeah. We're going to play our hearts for you for the rest of the night, okay? Love you guys. We'll keep watching. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. One of Macanda's jobs every time she came back home on her Christmas break through college was to come back in and meet us after hours and start decorating the halls. It was one of the things that was always a, a mark of Macanda being here and home. And that uh, home, that's just important. Macanda's also responsible for being the one to um, allow Katie, my daughter, to my oldest daughter, to listen to Katy Perry for the first time. I grounded her, and um, and <laughs> and then she went to go see her at the Tacoma Dome a month ago. My Katie did, and Macanda reminded me of that. And. I 
represent a song I learned from Katie's playlist. Never played it before. I'm feeling my way through the darkness. Guiding by a beating heart. I don't know where this journey will end But I know where it starts They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Life will pass me by if I don't open my eyes But that's all right by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wise and I am older All this time I was finding myself And I, I didn't know I was lost Carrying the weight of the world But I only have two hands Hope I get the chance to travel the world You should see all my plans Wish that I could stay forever young the prize. So wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wise and I am older. All this time I was finding myself and I, I didn't know I was lost.
water I know water's sweet But blood is thicker Oh, when the sky comes falling down On you There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do Monday night, Sarah, my beloved Sarah, is leading a class here. It's her second class in this ser series of three classes called Lightning in a Bottle. And um, the first class was on compassion, and it was a great night. A lot of you were there, her and um, some of you were there. Gelly was there. And um, Monday night is a night on um, mindfulness. So from 7 to 9 o'clock, a class, all ages, by donation, it's on mindfulness. It's something that we can all use a little bit more of, is remembering where our feet are and where we come from. Sarah is a Sufi teacher, and she has been since the moment I met her. This incredible light being that um, when we're in Sufi circles, she's a teacher and she teaches, and for her to bring her 
skills out to soul food as a as a teacher and as a guide to open up some skills especially going into through this season that will get crazy and hectic as the winter comes along mindfulness seven o'clock yeah Deborah Oaks, are you out there? Where are you, Deborah? Deb, oh right, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We got a t Deborah, another Deborah in the house tonight. Yeah, um, Deborah Oaks uh, was running sound for her brother last night. Kevin was uh, uh, tearing up the stage last night. He started his first Thursday of the month concert uh, last night. So Kevin Oaks, the first Thursday of every month. And that'll be in line with the artist of the month rotation that comes through. And there'll be an art, a new art gallery, a art party, and Kevin in concert the first Thursday of every month. And hey, hi. And so I invited Deborah to come up and sing a few songs with us tonight. Yeah. And um, speaking of. Center. You come in the center. You're the lead singer. Yeah, totally. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't nervous, but now. Can I? Is this one okay to just take? Yeah. Maybe I'll just do that. I could put a couple of phone books under. Uh, <laughs> <I just> say. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> It was funny. It was really good. Thank you, Aaron. I just didn't want to knock anybody in the head. But you were still talking. I was talking right here. Sarah. Here he is. Sarah, lightning in a bottle, Monday night, right? And first Thursday, Kevin Oaks. Oh, really? Oh, really? It's the Oaks Trio. So you're getting a uh -huh. preview. Yeah. Right? And then, what else? and then there's also open mic tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, so dare you all to come back and play some songs on the stage tomorrow night. What a magical night that's going to be. Mm -hmm. Look at the calendar, yeah. Kevin said. Cool stuff in October. Yeah. That's new to have cool stuff <laughs> on the calendar. No. That's what we do here. That is standard. It's always been standard. So... What, do you want to say anything else? I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome to the stage Miss Deborah Oaks. Thanks, everybody. So I'm going to let them play for a minute, and I'm going to let the song come up through my feet, and I'm going to shout out to Makanda. Makanda walked in here, this teenage girl, and she did an internship over the summer with us and worked, and man, every day, like, I'm kind of grumpy, and I don't know that a lot of people know that, but I come to work and I'm grumpy, and Makanda doesn't. <laughs> and, um, and I love her for that. And I think about what she's gone through this year, and I don't, I don't wish that on her. And I just, I don't know anybody who could have walked through it with such grace. And then, and then we get to watch that. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. Kanda, just thanks for being part of our community and sticking around and sticking around. And um, I'm gonna sing a song for you. And um, it's just a, it's just a favorite one to sing. It's not necessarily in the theme of the night. It's just a good one. I love you, and I love you, Lori, and I love you, Steve, and I love you guys. I'm walking out in the rain I'm listening to the long mold dial to me I'm getting nowhere with you And I can't let it go And I can't get through 
And the old woman behind the pink curtain in the closed door on the first floor, she's listening through the air shaft to see how long a swan song can last. Now both hands, please use both hands. No, don't close your eyes. I'm writing graffiti on my body. I am drawing a story of how hard we try. How hard we try I'm watching your chest rise and fall Like the tide of my life and the rest of it all and Your bones have been my bed frame and your chest has been my pillow I'm waiting for sleep to offer up the deep with both hands It's my heart going pitter patter. Each other's shadow, we grew less and less tall. And eventually, our theories couldn't explain it all. And in each other's shadow, we grew less and less tall and eventually our theories couldn't explain it all recording our history on the bedroom wall and when we leave the landlord will come and paint over and walk out in the rain and listening to the long moan of the dial tone again and getting nowhere with you both hands now don't close your eyes i'm writing graffiti on your body i am drawing the story of how hard we try how hard we try I, my brother and I have this 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 common I don't want to call it an issue but kind of 
Like people say, get up and sing a song, and I'm like, yay, let's do a lively one. And I don't got it. I don't like all I have in my repertoire is like sad songs, and I love them. You got a request? Is it a sad one? No, it's a happy song. <laughs> we'll see if I know it. What is it? Uh, I, but I, I request your brother coming up too and taking my guitar and playing it with you. Oh. 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 <laughs> Who knew that was gonna happen? Look, and you just like you just have to like pull him up here. He's just like, no way. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he just said that he, he said that one. It's, it is a happy one. It is a happy. He, oh, we knew we know a happy one. Everybody remembers it but me. I know I should remember it. We've done it enough, but I think what happens too, you get up here and there's all this fantastic talent, and I just want to listen to it. I know. Can you guys see Kevin? Do I need to? Sam, no, I guess you can see him. It's fine. <laughs> what a sister thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm in front. <laughs> Check one. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are adorable. Oh my goodness, right? We learned it by watching you. Oh. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> oh, this will be a super. Oh, geez. speech we all talking at the same time we say we want peace but nobody wants to change their own mind no they don't so we go thousand years, a thousand years I said, yes it goes on and on and on and on and on, the language are your tears, are your tears. Everybody wants to live life of kings and queens, but nobody wants to stay and plow the fields. Everybody wants to tell their neighbors how to live, but nobody wants. To listen to how they feel So it goes on and on and on and on and on For a thousand years A thousand years I said Yes, it goes on and on and on and on and on My language are your tears, are your tears? Well, I got to say right now, it's your love enough. Yes, your love enough. Yes, your love enough. Can you love some more? Is your love enough? Yes, your love enough. Is your love 
battle up and fight again knowing that our hearts will receive our love too blessed words to me my friends and blessed words to you my friends that we may live in this great garden of Eden tell me is your love enough yes your love enough yes your love enough can you love some more is your love enough yes your love enough yes your love enough Makanda, can you love some more? You love enough, yes, you love enough. Is your love enough? Is your love enough, Makanda? I know it is. Your love enough, my love's enough, our love's enough. everybody. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Thanks, everybody. I love you guys. Thanks so much. And Makanda, I love you. Lori, I love you. We'll see you when you get home.
next song, we, t Gelly and I and Betsy went on tour to Idaho and played our music and spread light and it was wonderful. And we get up to a, one of our shows and we've just got to that moment and I know what the next song is gonna be. I boldly put my capo on my guitar and I start playing. I'm just, my heart's in it, my heart's in it. I start singing, I realize something's dreadfully wrong. I don't, I don't, it's in my, not my voice or something. Oh man, the wrong key. And all of a sudden this moment, I put the capo on the wrong fret. And I get this moment of like, oh no, and then the band, and I look over at Gelly, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, you know. Yeah, I knew a few bars ago, but I kind of watched you know, and it's good, now we all know, and keep playing the song, Clint. I was like, <laughs> that's when you know that someone's not afraid to go wherever you're gonna go, even if you don't know how you're leading the way. Oh my gosh. Sam, I'm the family dog. I lie around sleeping all day long. After school, I'm home. While Trevor's at school, I'm home alone. And I run to the door when Trevor gets home. Ruffles my hair, he throws the ball. We play for a while, then he's off again. And it's just a few minutes of his time. And I am just another stop along the way. But those few minutes. He's all mine Are the best few minutes of my whole day My name is Trevor and I'm in the fifth grade Dad is named Ben and he works long days. After school, I'm home alone. And I run to the door when my dad gets home. And he ruffles my hair and he throws the ball. He makes me dinner. Then I go to bed And it's just a few minutes of his time And I am just another stop along the way But those few minutes, he's all mine Are the best few minutes of my whole day Ben, I'm a single dad. My father's in a home and he's getting real bad. Will I go to see him with Trevor and Sam? But most of the time, he don't know who I am. But sometimes there is a light in his eyes. 
He says my name. We talk about stuff. And it's just a few minutes of his time. And I'm just another stop along the way. But those few minutes, he's all mine. Are the best few minutes of my whole day. lost my mind I can't tell what's real most of the time but there's a boy named Trevor and a man named Ben and I've seen him before but I'm not sure when and they always bring a dog named Sam my face, lays his head in my hand, and it's just a few minutes of his time, and I'm just another stop along the way, but those few minutes, he's all mine, are the best few minutes of my whole day. Carver, oh, I'm feeling you tonight, Wood Carver. If you ever get this pit eye right, ow, oh, howling at the moon for Carver. That moment in time you get the pit in your stomach where you know, you know what, I should just hit him. That, that moment you get, that's a Carver moment. That's a moment where you know Wood Carver has come into your body and taken over and you fight. Carver, our, our best friend. We played king of the mountain Out on the end The world comes charging up the hill We were women and men But there's so much that time Time and memory fade away. We got our own roads to ride. And chances we gotta take. We stood side by side. Each one fighting for the other. Or until we died, we'd always be blood brothers. Now the 
hardness of this world slowly grinds your dreams away making a fool's joke out of promises we made and what once seemed black and white turns to so many shades of gray we lose ourselves in work to do. Work to do and bills to pay. And it's a ride, ride, ride. And there ain't much cover. I'll keep running by your side. Blood, brother. Oh. On through the houses of the dead and Past those falling in their tracks Always moving ahead And never looking back And now I don't know how I feel Don't know how I feel tonight If I fall beneath the wheel If I've lost or I've gained sight And I don't even know why I don't know why I made the call or if any of this matters anymore after all but the stars are burning bright like some mystery uncovered i'll keep running through the dark with you in my heart my blood, brother. My blood, brother. We played king of the mountain out on the end. The world come charging up the hill. We were women and men However, I miss you We all miss you On the night that we did the last ride for Carver When he passed away We did it here And we sang and we howled And at the very end of the night Makanda's dad Took a chainsaw outside and screamed it into the night as we were ending our night. Mm -hmm. And now there's babies doing that now. But there's something about the chainsaw and carving and carver in the air. Play one more song for you guys tonight to end the night. Thanks very much for coming out and being a part of all this and um, being a neighborhood when we need to come together and be a neighborhood. Somewhere in it all, in our days, in our news, in the internet, in Facebook, in all of our jobs and shit and the life and all of that, the golden spot that we keep in our heart that we um, know we are um, not in this alone. And that if um, one of our neighbors, one of our family members are ailing, then we're all ailing and we all come together to help fix it. Thanks for coming out tonight.
at the crossroads between wrong and right. Awake in the moment at the strike of midnight. Any move that I make will take me from here. You can leave me in the dark with nowhere left to turn. Still my light will shine bright, oh, my mind it will burn. But there is still one thing that can't take away. hands in the dirt, my eyes open wide, oh I live by the rise and the fall of the tide, I will head with my bow and face it into the wind, if you can cast me out to sea while the storm rages on, and I'll be carried upon the waves like the chords of a song, for there is still one thing that can't take away. starving for more with the crook for a king who was sold us to war while fighting I'll die but you'll know where I stand cause you can ask a man to kill you can beg a man to bleed but tell me where is the honor in taking more than you need there is still one thing that can't take away you can blindfold the truth you can leave me no choice you can beat me down oh and hush my voice but i'll hold in my heart what they can't understand for i've lived within the lies that we proudly get fed and i've been lost into a world with no place to lay my head and there is still one thing they can't take away there is still one thing they can't no take away. Miss Gelly Wersner on the viola, Mr. Aaron Brule on the djembe. My name is Clint McCune. Playing all weekend. Go to clintmccune.com. I'm playing a bunch of shows in neighborhoods all the way, uh, far and wide. Help us spread the word about the music that we're doing. Help tip on your way out. Buy some CDs. And um, love you guys. Thanks for the night. Soon you'll have 